the Kup Mukjin mean to you? It means my whole life, my whole whole of me, all of my kids, everything, my whole home. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
In your opinion, how important is it for Shushua people to learn the language? To, uh, to know who they are and who they, who they are, I mean, where they belong. And this place is theirs forever, forever. <laughs> regardless of that means whatever other people say, it belongs, you belong here. This is your place, your land. And it doesn't mean to let others come in, intruders or whatever you call them, to come in and tell you what to do with it. That's what's happening today. This land is ours, that's it, and we plan to do whatever is good for our land. Like years ago, we used to plant and do our own whatever was given to us by.
this proud style of dance originating from the proud people of the Blackfoot Nation. Our chicken dancers, Shane Kells, bring them in, bring them in. That's a, a beautiful grand entry here in Camp Lupo. It's time on a Saturday night. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm Mona Jules. I'm originally from Skechiston, but I now live up in the Seam territory up in the North Thompson. By looking at images and telling a story of the uses of certain implements, for, for instance, you could have uh, the actual tools as you're telling a story about the tanning of hides. This would be a good area that you'd be able to relay the importance of uh, animal hides being used for clothing, for instance. Because if you're telling children, you know, you're, you're slaying the animal and then taking their hide, they might think it's, it's not nice. But if they see what the, the different types of clothing that are made, the different type of tools that, that the animal provided, it didn't go to waste. None of it was thrown away. Storytelling to me brings back the, the warm atmosphere that I felt around my grandparents, the glow that I felt as I sat and listened to them telling the stories and just visualizing what they were telling me. I would sit there with a ready smile while my cousins laughed and screamed at the hilarity of the stories. So those things I remember, it still echoes in my mind when I think back to the stories, the living stories that we had as I grew up. Yes, storytelling was very special. They would tell about any, anything that uh, they thought would be interesting to the people. They also carried out special council meetings at every gathering. They would have surrounding communities as well as Sokwapnik people. And uh, they would come in their best clothes when they went to gatherings.